So in this video, I'd like to talk about using reference angles to evaluate sines and cosines. And speaking frankly, this is a very sort of classroom activity. In the real world, when we need the sines and cosines of angles, we're almost always going to find them using our calculators. But the material that this section is sort of based on is worth knowing. And in particular, it's worth knowing this fact, that the sine and cosine of any angle is the sine and cosine of its reference angle, except maybe a negative. And I put a question mark next to this because it's a little, it's a kind of fuzzy statement. But let's see how this works in practice. And in particular, let's see how the except maybe negative part of this statement works in practice. Let's try to find the sine and the cosine of 210 degrees without reaching for our calculator. 210 degrees is in the third quadrant. And the reference angle then is 210 minus 180 or 30 degrees. And the sine and the cosine of 30 degrees, we know. I'm going to write some equalities, and only one of these equalities is true. The other is false, but bear with me for a moment. According to what I have up here, the sine and the cosine of an angle should be the sine and the cosine of the reference angle, except maybe negative. The sine of 30 degrees is one half. The cosine of 30 degrees is the square root of three over two. So these are the right numbers, but maybe we should have a negative sign here or a negative sign there. And to decide whether we want to put negative signs in, we'll just reason it out. We'll say, well, this angle is in the third quadrant. Um, so the sign is the x coordinate. Sorry, no, the sign is the y coordinate. And the y-coordinate's down here. The y-coordinate should be negative. So the sign needs to be negative. The cosine of this angle is the x-coordinate. It's over here. The x-coordinate is negative. So the cosine has to be negative. So we see that the sine of 210 degrees is negative one half. The cosine is negative, the square root of three over two. Doing another example. Let's look at 150 degrees. The sine of 150 degrees, the cosine of 150 degrees. 
150 degrees is between 90 and 180. So it's in the second quadrant. And to find the reference angle, oh, this wasn't specifically what I was trying for, but we'll run with the problem. 180 minus 150, 30 degrees again. A sine of 30 degrees is still one half. The cosine of 30 degrees is still the square root of three over two. But now we think, I mean, the sine and this cosine are the x and y coordinates of a point on the unit circle. A point in the second quadrant has a negative x coordinate. So the cosine should be negative, but it has a positive y coordinate. So the sine should be positive. So the sine is positive one half, the cosine is negative the square root of three over two.